And we're back. This is episode 27, and we are here at the Garden of Seborhin, uh, trying to get audience with the princes and trying to convince them about Varesh. We already spoke to one of the princes, uh, Metu the Wise, who's Talcora's father, but he didn't believe us. He, he thought it was ludicrous that Varesh could be following a dark god, so we couldn't convince him, but we're not giving up. We're trying to convince the others. I've just got a vase for Boca the Magnificent, who loves to be bribed by stuff, so uh, hopefully that will work. Uh, yeah, enjoy, everyone. Let's do it. All right. She's very easy to kill. Um, really not a problem. If you have problems against her, you're going to have a lot of problems in the rest of the mission. Uh, let's unequip our weapon. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's the rare antique Elonian vase. Uh, I would feel bad. When I first did that, I felt bad for killing her. But actually, now that I speak to her, I realise she's just a bit of a bitch anyway. Okay, uh, before we go do that, let's uh, attend to this guy. This is a part of the bonus. Uh, Lumo the Mime. He says, I am Lumo, Master Mime of Vabi. My skill is Hiccup, recognized by the Prince Metu the Wise, who has granted me the Hiccup right to speak when not performing in respect of my world-class burp miming abilities. My command of body language is Hiccup, and face paint is unmatched. So he's a drunk, uh, and we have a, uh, we have a mime duel. Basically, he's going to do an action, and I have to try and do the right emote. I will film my first attempt at this. I've never done it the first attempt. I'm um, not too good with emotes on this game, but if I fail, I'll just cut it until I've done it. Okay, so here we go. You're going down, Silent Clown. What have we got? Oh, hold on. This challenge is as gruelling as it is difficult. It is quite hard. It is entirely possible that your extremities may be so exhausted from our mime duel that they simply fall off. Are you willing to risk life and limb? Lumo, this day you shall know defeat. Prepare to battle, mime. <laughs> What's mime slang for? I love to duel, but I'm attached to my arms. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. So he's dancing. Yeah, okay, now he's cheering. Now he's clapping. Now what? What happened? Oh, I think I might have failed it. Okay, I'll try it again, I'll try it again, one more time. Okay, he said, you move with the grace of a baboon. I warned you that you stood no chance. I think he just started clapping. Okay, let's do it. Okay, what's he doing? Roaring. And now he's taunting. And now he's pointing. And now he's pointing again. And now he's flexing. Now he's dancing. And now he's laughing. And now he's playing the violin. Come on, we're getting close. And now he's taunting again. Uh, uh, now he's uh, catch breath. Yes, yes, I beat him. Yes, that last one could have been hard. He says, I have lost impossible. I feel like half the mime I used to be. Enjoy your success while it lasts, for it will never happen again. Okay, so uh, that's just one part. There you go. You have participated in two of five festivities. Uh, we'll speak to the prince, then we'll go do another festivity. Oh, I'm well happy I, I beat him there. That was awesome. Okay, uh, yeah, straight up here. Oh look, there's a statue of Melandu here. I guess that's quite fitting, actually, if you think about it. Anyway, here we go. Finance Minister, we've got him a gift. I have something in my possession. Very nice indeed. I will present this to him personally. The Prince is a powerful ally. Stay on his good side and you'll be better for it. My Finance Minister informed me of your generous gift. This expensive vase from my collection. I will return your kindness by granting you audience to speak with me now. Though our conversation must remain brief. I have a rather sizable stable of donors needing my attention. Okay, so here's, here's Prince Bokka the Magnificent's thoughts. War Marshal Varesh is a threat, you say? Last I heard, it was those wretched Sunspear fiends that attacked Corner, correct? War Marshal Varesh has defeated the Sunspears once, and I see no reason to think it won't happen again. Profit is my concern, and I shall ally with the side that will win. Lovely. You're a really nice man. That's all I can say. Okay, uh, now the last prince. Uh, Royal Guard Boonda, what do you have to say to us? Careful now, no sudden movements near the prince unless you have a death wish. We have received word that our corner neighbours to the south are sending troops to fortify our borders against the Sunspear scum. Maybe once the corner troops get up here, we can rid ourselves of that lug, Goran. He's just as smart as a pile of rocks. Okay, so tell me about Bokka. 
As his title suggests, the prince is a wealthy man. He could, have own, he could own all of Vabi if the land were for sale. He spares no expense importing bards, performers and actors to entertain him at his home in the resplendent Man Khan. Okay, so tell me about the Cornans on roots. War Marshal Varesh pledged troops to protect Vabi against attack from the cowardly Sunspears. Varesh recognises the prince's great wealth and prestige and his duty to guard the Cornan border. Okay, so what do you know about Goran? Strong as an ox, that one. Dumb as one, too. The prince tripped over a chair once in his royal banquet hall. Of old Goran comes charging in and smashes the chair to pieces. Afterward, told us the chair attacked the prince in cold blood, if you can believe it. <laughs> okay. Um, so Goran was the guy over there, if you remember. Uh, right. So that was about uh, Prince Bokra. I probably sh should have spoken to him first. Now, uh, the last print is Prince Amter the Mighty, who says, I have enough on my mind right now. Find someone else to bother. Uh, and his lieutenant, Lieutenant Miranda. She says, You don't exactly look like the usual guests. Got the smell of battle and blood about you. Don't look surprised. When you've been around the smell as often as I have, you come to recognise it. I report, Prince Am I report to Prince Amter the Mighty. He's a master over the regions near the Zagan Citadel and the Outlands. Okay, uh, tell me about the Citadel. The lands near my home are a broken region of mountains, caves and badlands where creatures from beyond reside. It's home to Scree Harpies, Hecate and other deadly and vile creatures. Long ago the eastern borders were guarded by massive forces. Alas, between the three princes only Prince Amta provides forces to protect the border. The others believe no threat exists, though it would only take a day for them to see the truth. Okay, uh, the prince is the most honourable man I've had the pleasure of serving. Were it up to me, I'd throw the other two down a well and put Prince Amta in charge of all of Vabi. Of the three great principalities, my lord was granted the worst piece of territory. His section of the province is mostly unpopulated. His bastion of power is his citadel on the edge of the wilderness. We spend most of our lives fighting off the inhuman tribes so that the rest of Vabi is safe to ignore the world and focus on itself. Uh, I'm not sure how much we'll see this citadel because if we'd gone with the Master of Whispers we'd see that but because we've gone with Magrid we'll be seeing other areas of Vabi. Uh, not that I don't like that, I actually prefer the other areas of Vabi but um, yeah, like, like she says it's basically just sort of wilderness. Anyway, so how can I get an audience with this guy? Um, she won't tell us. Alright, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's just go participate in more festivities uh, and see if we can find a way to... to help him out. Okay, so the next festivity is from this man here, Zelo the Drunkard. And you can see he's got a keg. So he says, no one can outdrink the mighty Zelo. All who have tried have fallen comatose at my feet, face down in their own bile. You look the sturdy type, but I can but can you hold your own at the bar? I challenge you to a drinking contest. Alright, here we go. So, uh, this drinking contest, uh, we get a time limit. He says, I don't have any drinks for you. This trusty keg here is for me alone. Slip through the party and nab drinks from the willing. If you can imbibe 12 mugs before I finish this keg, you win. But trust me, you don't have a chance, lightweights. I've done so much talking in this mission. Okay, so, uh, pretty much we have to go to the servers. Actually, I don't know. Can we just go to Nobles? Oh, yes, we can. Well, it's a festival without a drink or two. Boring, that's what. Okay, so we've got one. Are you drinking that? Give up now, amateur. You'll never beat me. I think... Okay. All right, so we just want to talk to everyone. Go, 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 go. Do the servants give us anything? No, they don't. Oh, I got that the complete wrong way around. I thought the servants gave you stuff, but they didn't. So our goal is to get the next seven drinks before this bar goes down. Uh... Are, are you sh gonna drink that? <laughs> oh, okay, the guards won't have drinks, obviously. Um, six remaining. Leg full to the top, you's gonna... Hey, <laughs> can I have that? It's a miracle you're still standing. Yes, it is. Come on, four left. So many drinks, so little time. Go, 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 one more drink. Ta-da, there you go, very easy. Uh, we have participated in four or five festivities. Right, so what's the last one? Oh yeah, this one over here. Jewel Master um, Lumbo, I think. Or this could be how we get audience with this last prince. Okay, so Zelo says, What? You beat me? My pants off to you. <laughs> and now if you'll excuse me, I have to attend a meeting with an empty bucket and tonight's dinner. I love you, man. I love you, man. That I love you, man is a reference to when you get drunk on this game. Your character says random stuff. And I love you, man is one of the things it says. 
I love how we're now just randomly sober as well. We're going to go and sort of approach the princes and try and, you know, convince them that Varesh is bad, drunk out of our heads. But no, we get sober. Okay. Right. Let me remember here. You can see this man is called Palawa Joko. He says, I am Hiccup, the mighty Palawa Joko. You don't stand a chance. So this guy's kind of, he's only an actor, obviously, but he's acting out the part of Palawa Joko. Uh, that famous man from all those years ago. And he was with Jewel Master Lumbo. I do believe this is the last bit. Anyway, he says, For a great many years we have celebrated the victory of Chirai Osa over Palawa Joko at the Battle of Jahai. You remember in Jahai, obviously, I really want to drill this into you guys. In Jahai, in the Jahai Bluffs, there was that monument to, to his defeat, remember? Okay, so, um, tell me about the battle. The Battle of Jahai stands as the greatest moment in our history. Palawa Joko, the Scourge of Vabi, led his massive army into Alonian lands, conquering everything in his path. Chiraiosa, hero of our people, met Palawa Joko with force. Both commanders dueled to decide the outcome. Chiraiosa proved victorious, crushing Palawa Joko. It's a common practice at most any Vabian celebration to reenact the great duel between both leaders to commemorate our freedom. Okay, so we can reenact. I don't know whether I'll win this because this guy's actually quite hard. So, yeah, I wish to reenact the battle. The actor playing Palawa seems to have drunk himself into a stupor. He believes he really is the Scourge of Vabi. Judging by his inebriated ramblings, I think he's intent on rewriting history. Are you sure you wish to go through with this? So, basically, what he's saying is if you're not careful, this actor will kill you and you can fail the mission if you fail this. Okay, alright. Equip my scythe. I will reenact the duel. Lords, of, Lords and ladies of Vabi's, Vabi, gather round. Okay, I won't equip it. For today we celebrate the victory of the mighty Chiraiosa at the Battle of Jahai. Long ago, two great armies met near the Grand Cataract of the Elon River. Remember, that's where the, the uh, fortress of Jahai is now built. To determine our people's fate. One army, led by the undead Lord Palawa Joko, the Scourge of Vabi, set to bring destruction and chaos to our lands. The second army was led by the great hero of Elona, Chiraiosa, who sought to lead our people to the promised lands of the gods. Two leaders faced off to determine the outcome. Witness the great battle between these great heroes as it was long ago. So that's the story. He says it probably better than I can. Come on. Palawa Joko says, on this day, Palawa Joko will prove victorious. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kill him. Problem is, I've got no healing. I should have used Ava Avatar of Balthazar earlier. Crap. Come on, kill him, please. He's going to kill me if I'm not careful. All right. Whew. Oh, my health's still draining, though. All right, so he's dead. And I don't know how I'm going to do this mission later when we actually have to fight. Come on. Okay. All right, so I survived. Uh, there we go. You have participated in five of five festivities. Um, How do we get audience with the last prince, then? I forget. Horticulturalist Hinian. This guy's important later. Oh, Palawa Joko says, Chiraiosa, you are the victory. I am Palawa Joko, Scourge of Vabi, yield to you. Ladies and gentlemen, our hero and protector Chiraiosa is victorious. Yes. Everybody applauds. Not really, nobody cares. Okay, so what's this guy say? We meet him later. He says, you better not damage the leaves. I've tended the garden for years, and I'm not about to let a brute like you undo all of my hard work. Don't worry, I like the trees just as much as you. Oh god, guys, I'm scared. I think I think we're done. I think I, I now have audience to the last prince just because I beat that guy. I hope I do. We've we've participated in five festivities, so we have completed um, the bonus. All right, yes. Yeah, so here we go. Uh, now it's going to get interesting. Sorry if anyone got bored by all this dialogue. I hear you won the Battle of Jahai reenactment today. Most impressive. I have a great respect for those with guts to fight and skill to win. If you seek my audience, I will gladly spare a moment of my time. It's the least I can do for a skilled gladiator such as yourself. So this guy is very much motivated by war. He's kind of the one uh, powerful guy. Later you'll see something happens with the princes. And uh, he makes a very different decision to the other two princes. Anyway, I'm ready. Speak to me. What are your plans? I believe these concerns you have regarding War Marshal Varesh have merit. Hallelujah! But I have greater problems of my own that I cannot be distracted from. Damn, my lands are on the edge of Vabi. They border the wilds where the creatures from the broken lands lurk. Should my fortress fall to these horrors, all of Vabi will follow within a matter of days. I must keep my attention on my front gate. I pray Lissa will go with you in your quest against Varesh. One thing I want to point out is his lands are here, like about here. And what's interesting about that is to the right, which is where these supposed monsters are, these broken lands, 
uh, you can never go. So you actually hear these lands being referenced a lot. Like uh, you hear, I think the Scree supposedly came from them. They even get a name later, uh, but we can never go to them. So that was like another potential thing that they could have gone with for the expansion that never happened. Anyway, that's all three. Um, and he wants to speak to us again now that we've spoken to all three. And here's our cutscene. Jesus, my throat is raw, guys. <laughs> Let everyone else do the talking for a second. Here we go. The flaw in Palawa Joko's invasion of Abe was that he outran his supply lines. Once Tariasa flanked him, Palawa's forces were doomed. What's that? Sounds like harpies. Scree harpies. Don't be a fool, Gorg. There are no harpies anywhere near here. Or not. Of course you have been wrong before. Everyone move to the exits in an orderly fashion. There is only one of them. This is not the time to panic. I would say it is. Very well. This is now the time to panic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well done. Very wise of you, Prince Metu. This way, father. I'll protect you. So Talcor is going to run off. And now it's pretty much just me and the guards and we have to try and take out these Scree and I have no self heal so I'm almost sure I'm going to die. We'll see how it goes though. Defend the garden and its guests by slaying the harpies. Best thing to do uh, as a melee character as I am is to just charge in there while the guards can still provide me backup. I'm going to die though guys. I, I guarantee you I'm going to die. Oh I actually got adrenaline from that cutscene. How cool is that? Uh, if I do though, if I somehow by some miracle actually survive. Thing is, if you can kill the Scree quick enough, they can't kill the guards, you see? And then the guards can help you out even more. But now, like, you see these Scree here. They do a lot of damage and they cause you to bleed and shit. The best way to do it is to try and... I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to try and get Cory to go in there and attack them. Go on, Cory. Not that I have very high beast mastery. Um, but yeah, so we've got these guards that come with me. I'm going to die. Look, I'm bleeding to death. Fuck's sake. No, 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 no. Hopefully they don't hit me. Uh, what I'll do, guys, come on. If the guards kill it. This is so bad. Why did I think this would be a good idea? Okay, my health's reasonably higher now, so I'm going to go in there. Oh, shit. Avatar of Balthazar. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Save this guard. It's the rangers, the physical damage dealers, not a problem. The, uh, sorry, the, the melee range guys, not a problem. The rangers though, the scree trackers, you see these guys? Fuck me, they're annoying. They're so annoying, they're horrible. Anyway, come on, let's, let's kill this guy. The thing is, right, I might be able to kill these guys here, just fine. Yeah, okay, see, not too bad. I might bleed to death. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, no, I'll be okay. Uh, wow, they all dropped the food and drink trays. But there's a group up here. The last group I need to kill is like up there. And uh, Jesus, they're annoying. There might be another group up there, actually. Oh, damn it, there is. Look. Oh, no, that's just a spirit. Okay, all right. So we're going up here. Again, I'll cut it till my health recharges. Okay, here we go. We're just on the stairs. Uh, I've got Corey. Corey, as soon as we get close to these last ones, he should charge up there. Uh, if I stay behind... Oh, fuck. Here we go. Okay, there's a raider. I'm going to try and take him out. Oh, my God. Why did I bring a scythe that drains my health? Ugh. Fuck. See, look. The, 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 the rangers always go for you straight away. They don't try and hurt anything else. Come on. Come on. See, this is the problem. I'm going to die if I don't kill this guy quick enough. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> Kill it. Okay, he's dead. Are there any more? Are there any more? Yes, there you go. Oh, I'm happy. I completed it. There you go. That's the end of the mission, guys. Um, Master's Reward. Five of five festivities completed. That's a really nice introduction to Vabby, I think. There's so much to talk about, so much to see. I missed loads of stuff as well, but there you go. Oh, Jesus. Killing the rest of the Scree. Gorin and Norgu, two new characters that we've been introduced to. Oh, here. There's Kahani. What a mess. Do you believe me now? Yes. But the question is, why would the Scree Harpies attack here? 
All I can say is, thank the gods for War Marshal Verish. What? If the Harpies are raiding, we'll need all the troops she can spare. True. Excuse me. I need to check in with my forces. Yes, I'd best get back as well. Will you be joining me, daughter? I have made my own arrangements, father. I see that you have. We will speak of this later. And I had best get back home as well. The new theater season is about to start. Goran, fetch my sedan chair. <laughs> Those idiots. Let them go. You've broken the ice. I have some leads that we should follow up on. Mm, leads. Interesting. So, there we go. We're now at the Kodash Bazaar. I have been filming and talking flat out for 41 minutes. So, <laughs> I'm going to have a break, guys. This episode's obviously going to have to be split in two again. Uh, but, yeah, we're at the Kodash Bazaar. This is the capital. Uh, good stuff's coming up. I, I really like what happens in Vabi. That was a nice introduction. Hopefully, you didn't get too bored by all the dialogue. I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you later, everyone.